In this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the latest lender rate changes and the latest lender criteria changes, along with the latest swap rate chart. And we're also going to be taking a look at the Halifax House Price Index and what that potentially means for house prices in 2024. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the UK Mortgage Market Insights for the weekend in the 9th of February 2024. I hope you're all well. For the sharp-eyed amongst you, you'll notice that this video has been released on the 8th of February, and that's because I'm not in the office tomorrow, so I'm having to record it a day early. There's not a huge amount to cover in this week's episode, but let's get straight on with it anyway. So first up, let's take a look at the latest swap rate chart. As you can see on screen, looking at the first column, the 6th of Feb 2024, swap rates are currently sitting a little bit higher than they were a month ago, and likewise a year ago. So as mentioned in last week's video, swap rates have increased a little bit over recent weeks. That's primarily because of the news coming from the Bank of England. The talk that they're wanting to keep interest rates higher for longer is having a little bit of an impact on the markets and hence the swap rates have gone up slightly and seem to be hovering around about these levels that we're seeing right now. Now there has been a lot of talk about when the Bank of England are going to be reducing rates. And there were rumours circulating that the Bank of England had said they wouldn't be reducing rates before the Federal Exchange in America. Who knows if that's actually true or not, but it would indicate that perhaps we're not going to see any reductions in the Bank of England base rate until perhaps June, July, you know, sometime around the summer. Now, previously, I was predicting it could have been May, and that could possibly still happen because it depends upon the data that we start to see regarding inflation, wages, and jobs. We do obviously, of course, also need to take into consideration the ongoing troubles in the Middle East because that is potentially going to have a further influence on the inflation number which are potentially going to increase slightly over the summer. We've got to remember that inflation never falls in a straight line, so there are going to be bumps along the road, but inflation is heading towards target of 2%, and it is very likely that the Bank of England are going to be reducing rates in 2024. So when do you think the first rate cuts are going to come? And what do you think the base rate is going to be at the end of 2024? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please do drop them in the comments below. So next up and earlier than normal in the video, let's take a look at the lenders that have changed their rates this week and also the criteria changes. Well, the criteria changes is an easy one to cover off because see, there hasn't been a huge amount of news in this area this week. Most lenders' criteria has remained the same. As for the rate changes, however, there have been a few. So let's just have a look at them in detail. Accord mortgages have reduced their product transfer rates by up to 0.55% for existing customers. West One, they've made reductions of up to 0.2% across their product range. Leeds Building Society, for new and existing customers, the rates have been reduced by up to 0.32%. Santander purchase rates have also been reduced, which is good news. Kensington's residential rates up to 85% loan to value have reduced by up to 0.2% and the buy to let rates by up to 0.96%, which is fantastic. Paragon have introduced a new range of buy to let switcher products for their existing customers. But Generation Home this week, their fixed rates are increasing across the board. Halifax are increasing their remortgage rates and product transfer rates on their two year products but they're reducing their purchase rates by up to 0.59%. HSBC, unfortunately, all remortgage rates have increased this week and there has been a mixture of other rates that have been decreased slightly. From the Coventry Building Society, also they're increasing their rates on the two and five year range for new borrowers and the mortgage works selected rates across their new business range have also increased this week. Now, I just want to cover off a little bit about why some of these lenders are increasing their rates. Typically, when a lender reduces their rates, it's because they want to be at the top of the rate charts. They want to be getting more business than all of the other lenders. So there is competition quite often to offer the lowest rates. However, when lenders do that, they get inundated with business and their workloads start to struggle, meaning that they can't deal with the applications as quick as they're coming in. So in order to actually manage those workloads, what you'll often find is that lenders will increase their interest rates and therefore they won't get as much business. Now, yes, admittedly, the swap rates have increased slightly over the last couple of weeks, and this has partly influenced some of these lenders having to increase their rates. However, the lenders that we are seeing increase in their rates are, interestingly enough, those that have been offering the lowest rates over the last couple of weeks also. So in my opinion, this is more likely because they want to manage their workloads than it is because the interest rates are going to be going up on a continuous basis. The general feel is that rates will continue to come down 
Although at the moment, we will find ourselves in a period of, of stability where lenders will just be fluctuating their rates slightly in order to get some business in and then to manage the workloads. So we will watch this space closely and as always, update you on a weekly basis. So next up, let's take a look at the Halifax House Price Index that was released yesterday. As you can see on screen, a positive start to 2024 for UK house prices. Halifax are reporting that average house price has gone up slightly. It's now 291,000. There's been a monthly change of plus 1.3% and a quarterly change of plus 2.5%. Overall, year on year, annually, we're seeing an increase in property prices of 2.5%. According to the Halifax, house prices have gone up consecutively for the last four months. Now, a lot of this positivity they're putting down to the fact that we're seeing mortgage rates reduced and also the fact that inflationary pressures are reducing and we're heading closer to the 2% target. Now, it's important to know that whilst interest rates are on the way down, they are still higher than they have previously been over the last 10, 12 years, but historically, they're actually not that bad. They do warn, however, that looking ahead, there could be some affordability issues on the horizon and we are not ruling out potential further falls in property prices because there is still a bit of uncertainty in regards to the economic environment. So we will watch this space closely. Now, I would also like to point out that this information that we're seeing is only from the Halifax. In last week's video, we covered the Nationwide House Price Index, which was also positive. But you must remember that this data is only from these two lenders themselves. It doesn't cover all of the other lenders that are out there in the market, and it also doesn't cover those people that are purchasing using cash. That data is only shown in the Land Registry House Price data, and when that's next released, we will cover that off. I do suspect that that data will show property price decreases, but as I will remind you, the land registry data is around five to six months old. So it's still looking at transactions from late summer of last year. But this data that we see from the Halifax and the Nationwide is bang up to date, and it does suggest that property prices may well have stabilized and may well now be on the upward trajectory. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you been considering buying? Have you been putting it off in hope that house prices will continue to fall? And is this data now changing your mind? Have you decided that now is the time to get out there and start looking at property? Because that is the indication that we're starting to see with more and more inquiries coming in from first time buyers and people wanting to move home. But I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please do drop them in the comments below. Now, lastly, I just want to cover off something that's breaking news. And this is a new mortgage lender that's coming to the UK market. They're going to be introducing a Dutch style mortgage with five to 15 year fixed rates. Now, what's really interesting about this lender and the products that they're offering is that as your loan to value decreases, the rate on your mortgage will also decrease, which is fantastic news. So if property prices are rising, and as you make your monthly payments or even lump sum repayments, if you drop into a lower loan to value bracket, they will automatically reduce your mortgage interest rate. I think this is a very, very good idea. And I will do a video next week covering this off in more detail. But for now, I just wanted to gauge your thoughts. Do you think this is something that's quite interesting and could prove to be really popular in the UK market? Because let's face it, at the moment you take out a fixed rate mortgage and you're stuck on that for the duration, two years, five years, 10 years whatever the case may be. But this product is going to prove really interesting in the fact that it will reduce your interest rate automatically for you the minute their systems tell them that you dropped into a new loan to value bracket. So please do leave your comments below. That brings us to the end of this week's episode. As always, thank you so much for watching and for your support and the channel. It really is appreciated. If you do like the content that we're producing, then please do give us a follow or subscribe. And of course, please do also share the videos so that other people have access to the information as well. Next week, we'll be back to normal time. The weekly update will be coming out on Friday. But in the meantime, I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. Take care.